some days it's really hard to make a decision on anything or everything for that matter. But what I want to talk about is decision making in the classroom, not about the decisions that you have to make, but the kids have to make. And I always have to wonder, where were you taught how to make a decision? What's going on right now is we have kids who are making a decision not to do work or not to show up for school or um, decisions about planning to work together as a group or whatever decision you're asking them to do, it's still a decision. And when you ask the question of kids, how do you make a decision? They often look at you like, where did you come from? What do you mean, how do you make a decision? You just decide. But when you think about decision making, I think it has a close relationship to self-regulation and perseverance because we know how closely related they are. I have to think about my decisions. And oftentimes I don't think we consciously stop and think about how we go about making decisions. So something fun that we can do in the classroom is we can take uh, takeout menus. Now, we're, uh, there's no shortage of takeout menus, you know, especially after the year 2020. Get a bunch of takeout menus from restaurants, and if we had them, if they were le learning from home, they would have a takeout menu in their hand, or maybe you'd put one up on the screen, or if you're in the classroom, we can just, you know, look at a bunch of takeout menus, maybe on a, on a screen, or we could have these if we can put them in our hands. And you open it up and you say, okay, what are you going to order for an appetizer? I want you to write it down. And so the kids get busy looking at that, and then we stop and say, what'd you order? What'd you order? Well, I ordered the cranberry goons, or I ordered the pepperoni pizza bites, or I ordered the breadsticks, or whatever it might be. And the question comes, how did you come to that decision? The answers are phenomenal. Well, when we go to this restaurant, I always, always order these. I always order these here. Or, well, I don't know, that's just what was ordered for me when I was a kid. Or, I was thinking that I wanted something sweet and something savory, and I've had a difficult day today, so perhaps this might fit the bell. You don't get too many of those answers. But really teaching kids that it's important to think about the decisions that you make and how to make decisions. Why did I make the decision to do my work or not do my work? How could I change my decision-making process for a better outcome? So that would be basically teaching cause and effect through better decision making. So don't make an assumption that kids make poor decisions just because they consciously are making poor decisions. But think about when you learned the process of making decisions and whether or not you might want to grab a few takeout menus to practice. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. I speak and consult on school behavior and I love to help districts solve some of these problems. See you next time.